This is my current PC, and it's huge. In this video, I'm going to reduce it in half and make this compact PC with upgraded parts. I travel a lot and I take my PC everywhere. This build will allow me to have a powerful PC while keeping it lightweight and compact for travel. These are all the different parts that are going into the computer, and you'll see in the video that I exchanged the larger power supply for a smaller one. Our computer will include an i9-12900K Intel CPU, 3080Ti graphics card, 64GB DDR5-6000 RAM, as well as a Republic of Gaming motherboard Z690i and liquid cooling from Republic of Gaming. We have 2TB SSD. We'll be running Windows 11 on this computer and we'll be using a Cooler Master V850 for the power supply and the VR3 case from John's Bow. I went with the Johnsbo VR3 Mini ITX case in black for this design. I love it because it has a mesh exterior that allows for efficient airflow, as well as a back panel that allows for a lot of cabling. On the top you have a USB 3, USB-C, and the power button. And it pulls out so you can put all your components in first before you install it into the actual case which is really nice. It allows for a 240 or a 280 liquid cooling, and the case comes with a lot of parts that allow you to install multiple components into it. Because there's less room to work with in the Mini ITX case, I'll be installing the RAM, CPU, SSD, and liquid cooling onto the motherboard before I put it into the case. We'll be starting with our G-Skill Trident DDR5-6000 64GB of RAM. We'll be installing it in our Republic of Gaming Z690i gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. When I was installing the RAM, I thought the RAM sticks wouldn't fit because the ones I bought had a case in it, but after a little bit of moving parts around and wiggling it in, it was able to fit without a problem. Um, I was just scared when I initially started putting it in, it didn't look like it would fit. The next thing I installed was a Samsung 2TB SSD. It's a maximum speed of 7000 megabits per second. The installation on the motherboard is on the left hand side, so you just unscrew the left hand side and you'll reveal the area where you can place the NVMe SSD. There's two slots, there's one more under there, however I'm only using one SSD so I'm only going to remove the top. Make sure you take off all the filming, and when you put it in, you gotta make sure that you lock it in place using this little latch here. Once you have it installed, make sure you remove the plastic from the thermal pad on the top, and then reinstall it back onto the board. Next, I installed the i9-12900K Intel Core CPU. It comes in this gold box here that I really liked. When installing, I also made sure to check the pins on both the CPU and the motherboard to make sure that there was no damage before installation. The next thing we'll be installing is a Republic of Gaming LC2 240 RGB liquid cooler. When installing the liquid cooling, make sure you have the right adapters for your motherboard and CPU. I'm using the Intel 1700 set that came with the liquid cooling kit. Also make sure you have the correct orientation before you install your liquid cooling, that way it will fit when you place it in your case. After installing the liquid cooling onto the motherboard, I installed the entire motherboard into the case and the radiator to make sure that it fits. The next thing I'm installing is the Zotac Gaming 12GB 3080 Ti. It has three display ports and one HDMI port. Available. For installation, you'll need the cable adapter that came with the VR3 John's Bro case. There wasn't much to installing the graphics card besides plugging it in, so I'm just going to show the finished product. 
The last thing to install was the V850 power supply from Cooler Master. I'm not going to show the full installation, but I will show you the finished product. And this is the final build with both it powered off and powered on. I really love the outcome of this and I love that you can pull it out as well and manage it anytime you need it. The new PC build ends up being about 7 pounds lighter than my current PC. It may not sound like a lot, but when you're traveling and you're trying to fit as much stuff as possible into a luggage, that 7 pounds makes a huge difference. I hope you enjoy this video on my new PC build. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and follow all our social media accounts.